The thought of radiation to treat skin cancer is not very appetizing to me. Several years ago, I was treated with external beam radiation therapy for cancer on my lower lip. Unfortunately, this type of radiation doesn't discriminate between cancer and healthy cells, so special measures must be taken to preserve healthy tissue. To prevent movement of the head and mouth during the radiation, I was fitted with a mask that would be attached to a flat surface with six bolts. To make it more uncomfortable, an apparatus was inserted in my mouth to prevent movement of my tongue. Although the duration of the radiation was only minutes, it seemed like it took forever to put the mask on, get bolted to the surface, and then have the tongue separator inserted to my mouth. It seemed equally as long to reverse the process once the radiation was over. This went on five days a week for seven weeks. Yes, it destroyed the cancer, but I also lost three teeth, saliva glands, and taste buds. For the past several years, I have been under the exceptional care of Dr. Frank Tobin and his excellent staff. This included successful Mohs surgery with extensive reconstruction on my nose. When a biopsy revealed that I had another cancer on my nose, I asked what my options were. It was either Mohs surgery or radiation. More surgery on my nose did not appeal to me, so when I asked about radiation, Dr. Tobin explained that radiation treatments had changed, and he said, you're going to love Rachel. My friend, Dr. Jim Lambert, was just finishing his radiation treatment, and I asked him how it was. The first thing he said was, you're going to love Rachel. The first appointment with Rachel was called a simulation. Dr. Tobin came into her office and identified the cancer location. I was introduced to the SRT radiation machine. Superficial radiation therapy, SRT, can now determine cancerous lesion breadth and depth using ultrasound linked to the treating device. Rachel did an ultrasound that showed the difference between the cancer and the healthy skin on the screen. Rachel stated that after the treatments, the ultrasound would show all healthy skin. Rachel put a large protective vest on my chest for the simulation. She also put shields over my eyes. Next, an apparatus from the radiation machine was put on my nose to test my comfort level. Rachel explained that she would leave the room during the radiation, but that she was watching me on a camera. She returned, removed the vest and the eye shades, and I was ready for my first treatment. My first treatment went just as rehearsed, with two comforting exceptions. With the eye shields on, she always let me know when she was close to me with the machine. Also, just before she left the room before the radiation, she squeezed my arm to let me know that she was leaving. Nice touch. So, for anyone contemplating radiation treatment for skin cancer, all I can say is, you are going to love Rachel.